I believe I have the best job in the world. The intellectual curiosity of the sciences underpinning our specialty, the stories of resilience, recovery and hope of the people we meet, and the therapeutic relationships we forge are beyond value. However, we simply cannot deliver the life-changing care people need without sufficient workforce and resources getting to the clinical front line. As a general adult psychiatrist working in a deprived part of Plymouth, I'm only too familiar with the challenges of historically underfunded services, repeated reconfigurations not based on evidence, and the impact of social determinants impairing the life chances of our patients. And we psychiatrists are tired, tired of battling for basic resources and battling for care that would be good enough for our own families. The catalyst for me choosing psychiatry was seeing the transformative effect of a therapeutic relationship with a psychiatrist when my mum became severely depressed shortly after I qualified. There is no doubt that that psychiatrist added years of quality to her life and quality to the lives of countless others around her. As psychiatrists, we really do make a difference. It makes me sad knowing that so many children and adults struggle to access our expertise, and yet we know that more than ever are waiting for the help they need. It's easy to be overwhelmed in the face of enormous challenge, but I believe that good care for the most vulnerable and marginalised in our communities is worth fighting for, and I believe that change is possible. When I was elected as your Dean, recruitment to core training in psychiatry was at an all-time low, but together we turned it around. We changed the narrative and today more doctors than ever are choosing psychiatry. I believe that together we can influence change. Together we can bring the best evidence to define meaningful standards. Together we can influence national policy on social determinants. And together we can stand alongside one another to advocate for intervening early and helping children and adults of all ages meaningfully recover from severe mental illness and addictions, and supporting people with intellectual disability, dementia, and neurodevelopmental disorders to live their best possible lives. More than ever, psychiatry needs a strong voice. As your Dean, I've proven that I have the skills, values, and determination to lead. I've proven that change is possible. As your president, I would be honored to take the agenda forward putting people first, setting standards, promoting prevention and getting funding to the front line.